everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today I have another G Fuel review for you. That's right, G Fuel pumping out the flavors, coming out with tons of new drinks. They've recently had four different GNC exclusives, and I've slowly been working my way through them all. We'll be going over the G Fuel Sour Power, coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video, we're going over the new G Fuel Sour Power. Like I said, G Fuel had four GNC exclusives. Uh, the Compound V Energy Drink Josh let me know that it actually was on Amazon as well. So you can find that on Amazon as well as GNC. But the Divine Peach, Miami Nights, and Sour Power are all at GNC exclusively. And I finally have that third one for you guys today. And what exactly is a Sour Power? Well, you look at the can, and it is another can inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, this character is Knuckles. Not sure how popular he is compared to Sonic, but I do know uh, Sonic's flavor, the Sonic Peach Rings, was really, really good Peach Rings flavor. And I'm trying to figure out what the Sour Power is. Uh, when I hear Sour Power, I think that it would probably be something like a Sour Fruit Punch kind of flavor, but I'm guessing it's probably not because uh, they already have the MFAM, uh, which wasn't sour, but it was fruit punch. But then they also had the doozy fruit, which was supposed to be like a, a sour fruit punch. So they've already done fruit punch a few times. So I'll be interested to see what uh, sour power actually is. But I do know that it does have 140 milligrams of caffeine. I've talked about this in my last three G Fuel videos that a lot of the newer cans are coming out with 140 milligrams. Very excited by that. You can check out my other videos for explanations as to why, because I go into it in more detail. Therefore, since I've already gone over G Fuel so, so many times, I will put a video right there. That is my original G Fuel video, which goes over the company information and ingredients and the very first four flavors. After that, I have done reviews on every single G Fuel flavor there is, and they are closing in. I think they're closing in on like 40 drinks now. They, they have a lot of flavors, so I have a lot of G Fuel reviews on my channel. Be sure to check out my homepage. Go over to the right side of the screen where the magnifying glass is. Type in G Fuel and all my videos should show up for you. And since I've already gone over all the other information about G Fuel in all my other videos, let's just go ahead, let's taste it out. Just gonna grab it from a Caffeine Man fridge. And since G Fuel is a gamer drink and it is a nootropic, I also love to tell people about C4 Smart Energy as a great option. They have some amazing flavors with amazing nootropics in it. And there are two ways that you can save money. You can either save 10% off at Campus Protein using coupon code Caffeine Man 10, or you can also use my link down below in the description box in a pinned comment as well. That takes you to the C4 Amazon page. Amazon known to have great prices. So between my link to Amazon and Campus Protein, you should be able to find the cheapest price on C4 Smart Energy. And here's the can. Nice can design and uh, Knuckles' hair is so big it's actually covering over the G Fuel logo and they are starting to get the characters a little bit closer to the G Fuel logo. On some of the other cans, uh, the characters are slightly off to the side so you actually have to like kind of turn to the side. But uh, you can actually see the G Fuel logo pretty good with the character on some of the cans now. They're, they're, they're marrying the characters closer to the words now. But always a great job on the graphics and not to mention those colors. They got this red-orange color, this really, really dark orange bright red color on there clashing with that yellow color man yellow and red or dark orange I, I'm pretty sure that's dark orange it, it's really close between either red or dark orange but either way great color combination between the two all oh, let's taste it out clear color little smell since I don't know what the flavor is, I like to sometimes give it a little smell to see, get a little hint of what it could potentially be. Not getting too many hints. It's uh, It reminds me of like a candied kind of flavor. Maybe some kind of like a berry or like a blueberry, raspberry. Something something to do with a fruit kind of a berry flavor, which once again, they, they already got the sour chug rug for the blue raspberry. They already have a sour cherry flavor, so so I'm not really sure what they're going with unless unless they're going with sour raspberry, let's taste it out. Mm. 
So for your carbonation, you get a medium to high carbonation. Uh, for your sweetness, uh, you're getting, I would say you're getting a, I think you're getting a high amount of sweetness, but on the low end of high. And for your flavor profile, I would also say that you're getting a uh, high flavor profile on the low end of high, really trying to give you a sweet, powerful, potent beverage for their flavor. And for that flavor profile, uh, I do think it is going towards a uh, sour raspberry kind of a drink. And uh, because I'm picking up on the notes of the raspberry, uh, the thing that popped into my head was uh, I used to drink a lot uh, a long time ago, not, not too long ago, but I used to drink a lot of the Lipton raspberry teas and, and also the Nest tea raspberry teas uh, back before I started cutting back on my excessive amount of sugar because they got a lot of sugar in those drinks. That raspberry flavor in that tea is reminding me of the raspberry in here, but uh, w without the tea. And, uh, and it's a pretty good flavor. I don't, I don't recall having a ton of uh, uh, just raspberry flavors. And uh, some of you might be saying, well, it's not just raspberry, it's sour raspberry. But the sour is uh, very, very subtle. I'm not getting a ton of sour out of it. Uh, usually if it's a sour drink, I mean, adding that to the charts of what I rate out when I talk about the carbonation, sweetness, and flavor profile. I also now talk about the sour because if I'm gonna talk about the sweet, I gotta talk about the sour. And I would say for the sour, you're getting a medium amount of sour and it's not even going towards the medium high or anything like that. It is pretty much medium. And I'm gonna go in to check that one more time just because it seemed like it was kind of light, but I'm trying to remember some of the other sours out there that might have been a bit lighter. And always good to double check if you're not 100% sure. And when you double check, you do the double check from the can. I think I'm gonna change it from uh, medium to uh, low to medium, closing in on medium, because uh, because it, it's really, it really is fairly subtle. I would say the only sour drinks that are labeled sour that aren't as sour as this would probably be the raised drinks because the raised sour drinks just, they're not sour at all. Uh, this does have a bit of that sour to it. Uh, if they didn't name it Sour Power, I probably would have said that it has a hint of sour on the back end. But in general, uh, not overly sour for when you think of, uh, now, pretty much nowadays, anyone when they think sour, they think of the Sour Patch Kids. They can think about the Warheads from Ghost. As well well as the sour chug rug, sour cherry, and some other sours that G Fuel has had. But it's definitely not as strong as the chug rug. And in comparison, when you put sour in your name, I think a lot of people are expecting a medium to high to high amount of sour. Otherwise, don't put it in your name. But overall, as a drink, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's as sour as they probably could have gone with it. Uh, like I said, if someone likes sour drinks, they're buying it because it has sour in the name. They usually want something a bit more potent in sourness. And for that raspberry flavor, it's a good raspberry flavor, but it's not really blowing me away. And between the lack of the sour and the uh, lack of excitement with what they do with the raspberry, uh, and it's not really, it's not a natural raspberry flavor. Like I said, it reminds me of the, uh, the sweet tea raspberry flavor. Flavors, almost similar to more of a uh, candied raspberry flavor th than your natural raspberry flavor or even your blue ras kind of flavors. So where is it going to be going on the caffeine and rating chart? G Fuel pumping out the flavors, trying to give you lots of different sour flavors in their line, trying to get something for everybody. But this one isn't one that would be for me. I'm actually going to give it an 8.5. It's a good drink. If someone offered it to me, I'd drink it again. But with all the other sour options and other raspberry options, definitely prefer to go with something else. So if you're looking to pick these up, like I said, three of the flavors are GNC exclusives and the fourth one is at GNC and Amazon. That is the Compound V. I will probably have that coming up within another week or two. I've been trying to spread out the G Fuel videos because it can't just be like a G Fuel channel. Got other reviews to get to you guys. So until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.